Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I will be showing you how to add your own wallpapers in iOS. So now you're going to need to need to be jailbroken here. Um you're going to need to have iOS 9.1 or below jailbroken firmware. <coughs> and jailbreak it with Pengu, I think it is, right? Pengu or Taiji, depending which firmware you're on. <coughs> and uh Pengu 9 works with iOS 9 jailbreak, and P Taiji 8 works with Taiji um, iOS 8. So let's jump right in. Now I will just show you in the settings. As you can see, I already added my custom wallpaper right here that Apple did take out of iOS 9. Right in the betas, they took this out. I'm not sure why, because I like this wallpaper. And currently I have it in the background right here. So... I just added that one, and uh, let's go into Safari and search for a new wallpaper that I want. So, just going to need to search for, like, iOS 8 wallpapers, paper, and then your device. So, I have an iPhone 6 right here. Just search for iOS 8 wallpaper, iPhone 6, or iOS 7 wallpaper, iPhone 6, or whatever uh, iOS wallpapers that you want. <clears throat> so for this video, I will just be doing this one right here. Um, it's the space, I think. It's space. I'm not sure if this is space or not. Don't, don't like, write any bad comments. Just saying, I think, is this space? Write in the comments if this is space. I'm not really sure. But just click Save Image. And it needs to be, like fitting your device. So as you can see iPhone 6, this is an iPhone 6 wallpaper. Now after doing that you're going to need to go into iFile and then I'm just going to go to home here. Scroll all the way back. Okay? All the way back. I'm just going to refresh a couple times and then you're just going to go into system library I think it is and then just scroll down no actually it's not system library sorry about that give me one second I think it's I think it's just library not system library just library and then you're just gonna scroll down wallpaper and the reason why I have motion is because I have live wallpapers I will have a uh, link in the description, if I do do a video on how to get live wallpapers for free without having the iPhone 6S Plus or 6S, so just stay tuned on my channel. So I'm just going to click on iPhone right here. As you can see, these are all different wallpapers right here. So if I click on the first one, it's going to bring me to the uh, Mars Hero uh, wallpaper right here that came with iOS 9. 0.0.2 I think so after checking that this is the correct directory that you have now you're just going to need to click on the add right here I'm just gonna do it right here just click on add I'm gonna exit out of that quickly just click add local directory and then click um, the bookmark down here click images <coughs> and then click the last one because uh, it will have the most recent image. So it's the bottom one. So click image viewer just to be sure. Click edit at the top. Select it. And then you're going to copy it. Now after doing that. Just go back to the iPhone right here. that uh, The wallpaper and then iPhone. And now you're just going to paste it in. Paste. Okay. And then you're going to do it one more time. Just paste it again. And then rename it. Just click rename. So there are the two files right there. And you're just going to need to follow this pattern right here. So as you can see, the very last one I have is 206.waves. As you can see, I just highlighted it right there. Now you're going to need to follow this correctly. Just letting you know, if you're an iPhone 5S or 5 or whatever, this is going to be different from yours, but it should have the same concept as what I'm doing here. So... We're going to click on the very top one right here. So this one, I'm focusing on 206. This one and this one. Okay? So just click on the first one. 
and then you're just going to highlight, you're just going to highlight all of this until you come to the dash. So after the name, it's going to be a dash and then your width and your height. So just click copy, done, and then you're going to come to any one of these uh, image underscore 3071.png files, and then just going to memorize 206 dot, okay, 206 dot. And you're going to come over here to the I, and from 206, you go up to 207, right? So then go 207 dot. Now, this is the correct pattern that iOS follows when creating wallpapers. Um, just then click dot and then name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to name this space. And then you're just going to paste in what you had copied over there. So you can name the wallpaper whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. It's just to identify it. So space. And then don't forget to add... Um, the number right after the latest one that you have okay so you're gonna click done and as you can see I have it right here and you're gonna need to make sure it's a PNG file because if it's not a PNG file then it's not gonna work but the second one that you're gonna do is gonna be a J JPG file so you will see what I have if you're you are confused here but I will try my best to go e go over each and every uh, detail with you guys. So now that I have renamed it, I'm going to come over to the second one. Now remember, I'm focusing on 206 here, the latest one, the one that I just made before making this video. I'm going to focus on that one and select it. I'm going to click on the eye, and then I'm just going to highlight again, select, and this time you're going to highlight all the way up to the dot. So it will be like dot thumbnail and then the width and the height. Okay. Now you're going to need both of these because settings app will crash if you don't add the, the dot thumbnail. Because that's the viewing of when you actually click on it you can select like, um, what's it called? You can select the perspective view or you can select the still view right so this is what you're gonna need so you're gonna copy it click done click on the eye at the image underscore whatever number it is and then you're just going to paste it there okay now you're gonna come over actually before you paste it you're gonna do the exact same thing 207 dot and it needs to be the exact same name space and then you're going to add the um, the pasting thing that you copied. So make sure it's a dot thumbnail here, okay? Then click done. Click done again. And just refresh a couple times. Now you're going to need to exit out of iFile here. Go back into the settings app and scroll down. And if you don't see it here, don't worry. Just going to need to click go back all the way. You're just going to need to go back all the way and uh, refresh your settings app. I'm not going to do this because I have photos of uh, my family just uh, letting you know, guys. So just go back and then click wallpapers and then choose a wallpaper and then click the still. And it should be displayed right here beside uh, your current wallpaper or something right here. So that is how you do this. And that is how you actually create wallpapers. And if you want to delete it, just go back to iFile here. If you want to delete it, just go into iFile. But make sure you haven't already put this as your wallpaper. Because it's going to mess up your device, I think. Just to be on the safe side. Just delete it here. As you can see, is a space. Just delete. And delete the space here again. And then remove it from your trash. Okay, and then just refresh, and if it doesn't go away, just restart your device, and it should go away. Now, that is the tutorial on how to create your own um, wallpapers and put them in iOS rather than going into the camera roll and setting it as a, a photo. So this can be as a default photo in the iOS wallpapers section. So that is basically it for this video. So uh, 
Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll have a link in the description below if I do the live photos tutorial video on any iOS device that doesn't have to be ran that doesn't have to run um, iPhone 6s Plus or 6s. So that is it, and uh, thank you for watching. Until next time, this is your host Starson signing off.